hey people welcome back again to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing well on today's video we are going to be taking madam blouse measurements a proper measurements for madam blouse okay so first things we're going to start with um, writing the measurements here all the measurements we need we're going to be writing it here from the shoulder to the blouse length we're going to be writing it here before taking the measurements on this mannequin okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please kindly click the subscribe button down below and subscribe and join this family click the notification bell beside it to get notified when i upload a new video okay and watch this video to the end let's get right into this video <laughs> We are going to start by measuring by writing the measurement here. I'm going to write Madam Blouse measure measurement. I'm going to start with shoulder. Then, <clears throat> after the shoulder, we're going to start with the bust. After the bust, we're going to start with under bust. That's round under bust. Sorry, round under. Round under bust. Then we're going to start with round waist. Then we're going to start with we're going to do the um the round waist. Then the this is the round waist. We're going to start with the waist down waist. <coughs> then after taking the round um second frames, we're going to take the um horizontal circumference that is a from up from up then front on the bus then half length Then the half length, then the quarter length. That's the quarter, the quarter length. Then after the quarter length, we're going to take the blouse length. Guys, we are going to take this nipple to nipple. That one should be the last one. Because it's not compulsory to take the nipple to nipple, it's not compulsory, you can just use four inches, then you can get what you want. Nipple to nipple. So, guys, let's start this measurement right now. So, first things first, we're going to take the shoulder measurement. So guys, taking the shoulder measurements, you're going to measure it like this, from here to here, you're going to measure it, and this is 13, we got 13, 13, the bust, we're going to measure the bust, <coughs> this is how to measure the bust, make sure the tape is at the back, upper back of the person so this is um this is 34 can you see that 34 make sure it's not too tight not too tight a little bit free 34 then the round on the post remember we are on the round circumference so we're taking the round circumference so you're taking your round on the balls, make sure the tape is at the back of the person. 
So the round on the bus is 27. Make sure the round on the bus is tight because that is where the fitting, that's the shape of the madam blouse will come out. The under bus, make it tight. So here I'm making it, this is 27. And the round waist. The round waist is here guys. This side is the round waist. It's 26. Can you see that? 26. So we're taking 26. Then the down waist, the lower waist is this side. Because there's no how you sew a madam blouse that you're not going to that is not going to come down. It's not a crop top, okay? It's going to come down. A madam blouse is something you can wear. You can wear and put your wrapper on top or if leave your um, blouse outside. So it's going to come down to this part. So you make sure you measure the side of your waist. This is it right here guys make sure you come down a little bring the tape down a little and this is this is um 33 and a half and i'm going to write 33 and a half can you see that then from up we are now taking the horizontal measurements as the sorry the straight measurement if you don't get what i mean from up is here from the shoulder to this bust point some people call it breast point but me i call it from up you can also call it breast point um from up you can also call it breast point or breast point you can call it breast point or you can call it breast point from up. I call it from up. Some people call it breast point. So this is how you to take that from the shoulder to the breast point here. You can see, guys, it's, it is ten. Make sure you take it. It's ten. This one is very very compulsory when taking Madame Blouse measurements. Make sure you remember taking this one because it's very very compulsory. So this is ten. So we're going to write ten here. Then you're going to go from the under bust. That's that is here, not round under bust, under bust. So the under bust is here, and we have 13. Make sure it is on the shoulder right here. This is 13. Can you see that? So we're going to write 13. Then the half length is here. Half length is here. This is 16. From 13, you um you add three inches, you get the half length. Can you see that the under bust is 13? You add three inches more, 13, 14, 15, then 16 is the half length. 16. Then the three-quarter length is very, very compulsory also. There are some madam blouse that you don't, um, if you want to join it together, you don't join it together from the half length, you join it together from the three-quarter length, depending on the style. So, we will take the three-quarter length from the navel side. This is the mannequin's navel and the three-quarter length is 20. Can you see that? It's 20. So we're going to write 20. So the blouse length, guys, it should be the last thing, but we have the nipple to nipple measurements to make. Some people don't take it because it is not really, really compulsory like that. You can use any, you can just use eight inches for the nipple to nipple, but some people take it, some people don't. I take it so I would know the proper measurements. So the blouse length, should be 25 the blouse length should stop here this side is okay for the blouse length across the hip as you can see 25 is the blouse length so we're going to take 25 
make sure the blouse length is close to the hip area you get close to the hip area so the nipple to nipple we're going to take it like this this one is so simple nipple to nipple is seven so you see why i say you can use eight then before you shape it out so everything you want it will go to seven so the, the nipple to nipple is like this this is seven inches so just write seven inches so guys i just remembered you can take the armhole if you want normal armhole measurement is nine inches but some people don't use nine inches for the armhole i would advise you to measure the armhole separately okay so you can just write it here armhole this is how to measure your armhole You can see the armhole of this mannequin is 13 inches as you can see this is how to measure the armhole 13 inches so you're going to write 13 inches so depending if the blouse has sleeve or not but we are going to definitely measure the sleeve length long sleeve short sleeve we're going to measure it so we'll come down here and we'll write sleeve Sleeve length, brown sleeve. So for the sleeve length, this is how to measure your sleeve length. Depending if it's long sleeve, it's, if it is short sleeve, you're going to just take it like this from here. Don't measure your sleeve length here, okay? Measure your sleeve length from here. You hold it here. Let me turn so you can see what I'm telling you so right here you measure your sleeve length so you can see how you bring it right now here you get your sleeve length if it's a short sleeve you take 10 depending you ask the person where do you want the sleeve length to um reach you do you want it at 10 do you want it at 8 do you want it at 9 any one if it's a long sleeve you take it like this You put it at the back like this and you take the long sleeve measurement let it be at the back from here to the back so that's how you get your sleeve length okay so the sleeve length is um long sleeve is 23 wide short sleeve is 10 so we're going to be writing it sleeve length 10 for short sleeve then 22 for long sleeve then the round sleeve i'm going to take it like this you come here and measure the first sleeve the first round sleeve is 10 then you come here and measure the second one it is nine okay then you come to the arm here to the lower side and measure the round sleeve here you got seven don't make it too tight so that to enter the hand to make it seven so we got ten nine and seven ten nine and seven so that is it for madam blouse measurements if you enjoyed this video please kindly like this video and share this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye